All right, everyone, it is seven o'clock, so we are going to get started. Um, good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight. My name is Donna Heitmanick, and I'm honored to help introduce the to the literacy world this incredible free resource, Reading Universe. It is my privilege to introduce tonight's speakers, Kelly Butler and Tammy Mount. Kelly Butler is Senior Advisor to Reading Universe and former CEO of the Barksdale Reading Institute, Kelly spearheaded BRI's development of the Reading Universe, a detailed scope and sequence for training teachers on how to deliver sequential, systematic, explicit reading instruction, readinguniverse.org. She is the author of two statewide studies and developed a subsequent statewide initiative to improve teacher preparation programs focused on early literacy instruction in Mississippi's 15 public and private universities. And we all know about the success of Mississippi. Tammy Maud is the senior director of Reading Universe, and she's a and she's passionate about early literacy and equipped to support any initiative that helps teachers acquire and develop skills to become better reading teachers. She has an accomplished record in delivering the strategic vision, design, and development of content-based services and media products for pre-K through 12 teachers. So without further ado, uh, we will get started with Reading Universe. Thank you, Donna. Good evening, everyone. After a long and possibly ragged day for so many of you, thank you, teachers everywhere. Thank you, Donna, for creating this space that has become a movement. Um, we appreciate being able to introduce the members to Reading Universe, a free web-based service brought to you now by WETA, where Reading Rockets lives, and First Book. This is a legacy project of the Mississippi-based Barksdale Reading Institute. I'm joined today by my two colleagues and friends, Tammy Mount and Shiana Valentine, who is off camera. Shiana is the senior manager of readinguniverse.org. Together, we hope to give you a good tour of Reading Universe to show you how it is distinct from the many websites in this very crowded ecosystem in today's literacy world and to answer any questions you may have. And so with that, Tammy, let's go to the next slide and provide a quick rundown of this session. <clears throat> As you know, Mississippi has been in the spotlight lately for our dramatic gains in fourth grade reading. Over the next half hour or so, you will learn about some of the dramatic trajectory of Mississippi reading achievement and the birth of reading universe. We will live tour the site and show you its many distinctive features that are available for free. Before we begin, we'd like to poll this group as we are always wanting feedback from teachers on the ground. So let me turn to, I guess Shiana has the poll that she will post. And let's give it a few seconds for you all to chime in. Please be honest with this question. We bet which best describes how you learned about the simple view of reading. Shiana, does this poll fill up as automatically? Can you, or Tammy, do you know how this how this will populate? Yep, I will share it in just a few minutes. We just have a couple more folks. Give them a couple more seconds to answer. Great, thank you. And I think that's good. Want to end it? Okay. And here are the results. Pretty much what we expected, and we certainly, uh, perhaps in this poll and the future, should put this uh, this Facebook page on there because I know that many of you are learning a lot from Donna's good work and the and the work of of all of you who contribute to the to the site. It's no surprises to me that zero percent is from pre service program, and we're really working hard to change that. So hang with us, and let's see if we can make some headway there. Next slide, Tammy. For those of you who are not familiar with what's been happening in Mississippi, this is a series of graphs that illustrate the change that has happened over two decades. The Barksdale Reading Institute, original home of Reading Universe, was instrumental in changing reading practice in our state. Founded in 2000, the same year as the National Reading Panel Report, 
BRI worked both on the ground in K-3 classrooms, as well as supporting teacher preparation programs to strengthen reading instruction. It became clear very early on that in-service teachers and teacher preparation faculty had very little, if any, knowledge of the science of reading. They were not familiar with the National Panel Report, and many could not identify the five components of reading. We knew we had to do something, and so we set about to create a scope and sequence for how to teach teachers to teach reading. That scope and sequence was the birth of the Reading Universe taxonomy. At the beginning, we delivered PD every week in classrooms across Mississippi over the course of a single school year, beginning with the simple view through oral language and all the way to comprehension. Teachers in Barksdale schools learned how to teach reading through modeling, practicing, and being coached. Next slide. Tammy, at some point you may want to transition over to the to the live site as I give a few pointers I want folks to be aware of. Several pre-pandemic years ago, I reached out to Reading Rocket friends at WTA to enlist their advice about how to transfer all of the Reading Universe materials once housed in three giant three-ring binders at the Barksdale Reading Institute onto a robust user-friendly website. They liked what they saw and offered to partner with us. We sought marketing and analytics help from other friends at First Book and readinguniverse.org became a reality. I want you to be mindful of a couple of things as you observe this virtual tour. This is a prototype for K K1 teachers of reading and writing. We decided to launch before all of the content was able to be uploaded. Some of it is still being written for the web-based platform, but we thought it was important to get it out there and begin to get feedback from users just like you. Our goal is to provide content for pre-K through sixth grade teachers. And of course, always at the back of my mind is whether or not we can entice teacher preparation programs to use this service. One of the key features you will see are the demonstration videos filmed in classrooms all across the country, just like yours. The number one thing we learned on the ground from Mississippi teachers was, don't tell us how, show us. We also know that this type of modeling instruction rarely happens in pre-service programs. Remember, this is a scope and sequence for teaching teachers to teach reading. It is not a scope and sequence for teaching children. That process is both developmental and integrated, but the taxonomy, which we will explore, is the organizing framework for this site. Reading is the most researched content in education. As a consequence, it's hard to know what's valid and reliable and what the implications are for teaching. We're doing our very best to stay abreast of the research and have a team of expert advisors to support us. But we welcome your feedback if we get it wrong or have missed something. We appreciate already the questions from your group. It has prompted us to clarify a few things on the site. But teachers should also be aware that the taxonomy is designed to include every possible skill involved in the reading process, when to teach it and how to teach it, even if some children don't need explicit instruction for every skill. We try to anticipate those instances. I'd like to ask you to hold your questions to the end. Feel free to put them in the chat. Shiana is going to be monitoring the chat uh, and we will come back to them uh, towards the end. But enough from me now, let's turn to Tammy and, and take a tour uh, beginning with the homepage. Thank you, Kelly. Um, so starting with the homepage, you'll see a, a brief introduction of the resources and quick links to explore them, um, followed by a special thanks to the generous funders who enable us to create the site and provide everything to teachers for free. That's followed by a short video introducing and explaining the Reading Universe taxonomy and how to use it on our site. Kelly's gonna give you an in-person tour of that in just a moment. We pair this with video examples of the kind of teaching we're talking about. And all of this is backed up by the big picture, our important explanations of reading research, the science of reading, and how it impacts teaching in the classroom. I'm going to take a little bit of time now scrolling up to the top <clears throat> of the page and point out three ways users can navigate Reading Universe. Looking at the top navigation bar, we see keyword search, explore teaching topics, and the taxonomy. 
use the keyword search if you come to the site knowing exactly what you're looking for and use the filters to narrow your search by topic or resource type. I most commonly use this feature this week because I was looking for specific decodable text. So I typed in short A, short E, and then resource type, selected decodable text. I could do the same thing for video or lesson plans. That's pretty straightforward. What's also unique to this site is that you can also browse. This is a second way to get around Reading Universe. It's through our Explore Teaching Topics. By rolling over this navigation link, it reveals a site menu that allows you to see all of the content of the entire site organized by category. And each of these links are clickable. If I click on Explore Teaching Topics, It brings me to a page where I can filter by topic, resource type, essential support. Again, Kelly's gonna explain a little bit more of that later, or by <clears throat> newest, most popular, relevant, or just alphabetically. I can also change the layout of the page to show the resources by subtopic or grid view. The results will, results will, will always default to the grid view showing the newest resource at the top. Now, if I change it, change the layout from grid view to list topic view, I see all of the resources organized by subtopic with quick, with quick links to collections within each topic. So here you see word recognition with a link to all the word recognition resources, language comprehension with a quick link, reading comprehension with a quick link, and writing with a quick link, followed by a big picture an assessment. And finally, we want to show you how to navigate our resources with the taxonomy. We'll direct your attention back to the top navigation again, where you'll see a light blue button. I click on this button to reveal the Reading Universe taxonomy. At this point of the tour, I'm going to pass it back over to Kelly. And she's going to walk us through this organizing feature of Reading Universe. Thanks, Tammy. You're welcome. Reading Universe gives teachers a big picture of all the skills they will need to teach reading and writing. Like the periodic table that shows all the elements in the physical universe, Reading Universe's taxonomy presents the big picture of the constituent reading skills. Not every student will need instruction on each of these, but every teacher should know how to teach them and why they are important to the reading process. The taxonomy is the organizing feature of Reading Universe that enables you to view the macro, big picture, and the micro, each step within the skill. We unpack the big picture skill by skill. Think about the taxonomy as a telescoping feature. Notice how it is organized around the simple view and highlights the important role of assessment. Soon there will be a whole universe behind writing because we know reading and writing should be taught together. And structured literacy explains the key components to this evidence-based approach. Each click takes you to the next level of learning about the skill all the way down to downloadable resources. The navy blue buttons at the bottom are navigation tools for expanding, collapsing, and printing the taxonomy. You'll see, for example, that you can take a screenshot that captures how far you may be in working through a particular skill. I always encourage teachers when they first come to the site to begin with the taxonomy as the search tool. In this way, the components of reading will always be presented within the larger composite of skills. For example, you will be mindful of how phonemic awareness relates to phonics and that you are always working within the simple view of reading in one of the two domains word recognition, or language comprehension. Notice also the plus and minus signs on each block. These are your telescope buttons that open the layers behind the taxonomy. Keep in mind we are loading content every single day, so you may encounter some stardust initially. But imagine that once fully loaded, every skill explainer will have available material that we are about to show you now. Tammy, if you'll click on word recognition, and then let's take an overview look into a skill explainer with your navigation. Go into onset rhyme, are you ready? Okay. Okay.
You ready for me to take it from here, Kelly? I am. Okay. <clears throat> so what you see here is um, the Reading Universe Skill Explainer. Um, it's a friendly narrative <clears throat> tone for um, that we have introduced across the site to clearly and explicitly explain um, what each skill in the taxonomy is, the background behind it, the research behind it, and how to teach it. Our skill explainers begin at the overview and carry us through the assessment, anticipating teachers' concerns and questions throughout with deep and pointed guidance. Every skill explainer is made up of eight or more modular sections that include an overview, when and how to teach through direct and explicit instruction, videos showing what the, what the instruction looks like, a resource hub of materials to download and use, and a section on assessment. If this information is new to me, for instance, I may click through each section carefully and sequentially, taking time to read the short overview and watch each video. While we're on this page, let's take a quick look at blending and segmenting onset rhyme in small groups. My word is bell. Say bell. 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 Onset. Bell. Rhyme. Bell. Good job. You pull them apart. Go ahead and put them back together. If I'm solid with my understanding of the skill, but I want lesson preparation help on materials, I can come straight to any section. I can come, I can jump straight to section three of the skill explainer. I see the reading universe provides me with help in preparing for instruction, a lesson on explicitly teaching the skill, an independent, independent practice for my students. If I'm looking for resources that might help me with a preparation, this link provides up front and center some things that are gonna really help me think about how I can plan first by selecting the words I'm going to use, the materials for instruction that I'm going to need, like perhaps manipulatives or picture cards, and then the strategy that I'm gonna use in my teaching. And that's all followed by examples that I can print off and download and use and plan into my instruction right from the website and for free. The assessment section goes another layer deeper. It zooms in on the key ingredients that produce informative data that a teacher can act upon, like what to typically expect from students at the stage in their reading development, and indicators from struggling students matched with clear guidance on how and what to reteach through modified instruction and intervention. We also bring this level of guidance and friendly coaching to our question and answer section. Here we feature sensitive, real concerns and provide genuine, clear answers based on research and evidence. And for those teachers who are looking for that just-in-time lesson or activity, the resource hub module that's also a part of every skill is where the teachers can find every single video, lesson, printable activity that has been addressed in some way in the context of the skill explainer in this handy list to download and use, share with colleagues, or even put into their own <clears throat> into their own um, professional development um, seminars or sessions with other colleagues in their school. I'm going to switch really quickly over to our presentation mode and show you a couple examples of pardon me some examples of the printables and other resources that one that a teacher might find in the resource hub of a skill explainer in the in a writing skill or a skill explainer on um, letter sound correspondence um, or handwriting, the teacher might find um, instructional cards for, um, for forming letters and sounds, lesson plans, uh, 
printable picture cards. What's unique about our printable picture cards is that it's the perfect size square that fits every act student activity that matches up and uses these picture cards and even decodable text. Now I'm going to hand it back over to Kelly to talk about some of the um, special features of Reading Universe. Okay. Um, on those printables and, and resources, those that we're showing you are um, most of those phonics and PA kind of activities. Uh, just keep in mind this again, we're, we're at the prototype level. So most of what we've got are those very early foundational skills uh, that are posted, but stay tuned. There's lots more coming for language comprehension. <clears throat> Okay, under special features, let's clip, let's skip to the professional learning community slide. Um, this is a really cool feature of Reading Universe that is in the very early stages of development, but I want to point it out because many of you will be leading or already leading PLCs in your building. The heavy lifting has been done for you on this. We are hoping to have a scope and sequence for how you could tailor your own professional development within your building. Uh, picking and choosing from the reading universe and using some of these PLC kits that includes a downloadable facilitator's guide, a downloadable participant's guide, a, si a set of slides ready to upload for the session and a classroom video to base the whole session around so that you're always talking about practice um, within, within the, um, the context of those PLCs. This is really the the fundamental essence of Reading Universe. This is what we did in Mississippi week by week, uh, unpacking that big picture and talking about skills in the in a professional learning community. Next slide. Back to you. So here we have um, information about the essential supports. Um, many of our skill explainers um, will address um, needs of our struggling readers if they come to um, the classroom. Um, we want to prepare all general education teachers to be able to meet the needs of all of the kids in their classroom. So if the skills perhaps on letter sound correspondence, um, what are some key, key characteristics of students in the classroom who are English language learners, um, perhaps um, speak a dialect of English um, or have a language-based learning disability like dyslexia. dyslexia. Um, the essential support is there to, um, to recognize, call out um, specific, specific ways that children who um, are, are coming to the classroom with these, with these um, special needs, how teachers can recognize them and meet them where they are, and scaffold instruction to help all help, to help all the kids in the classroom succeed in learning to read that particular skill and as it relates to the other skills. I'm gonna follow this by um, um, uh, the next slide about a timely talk. Um, while it's while you all are hard at work in the classroom, um, the literacy ecosystem is rich with webinars and conferences. Some are more accessible than others, especially virtual learning. But Reading Universe, Reading Universe offers timely topic, timely talks from experts around the country and around the world for free. These are TED Talk-like sessions on particular topics of interest, as well as new research that may have implications for practice. The first talk that we've published, How Children Learn to Read, is presented, is presented by Margaret Goldberg. And in this talk, Margaret unpacks the science of reading research, research and shows how it impacts her teaching and coaching with honest reflection and real examples. And coming soon after Margaret's um, timely talk, we will soon launch Julie Washington's talk about teaching children teaching reading to children who speak African-American English dialect. Reading Universe has an extensive library of in-classroom videos showing real teachers working with real students in diverse setting, settings nationwide. Our goal is to provide a video of every single skill in the taxonomy. To date, we filmed classrooms in Mississippi, Georgia, Connecticut, Oklahoma, and California. 
Our next stops will likely be in Pennsylvania, New Mexico, Ohio, and Massachusetts. Massachusetts. We're actively scouting excellent evidence-based locations to film the best teaching. Feel free to reach out to me if you'd like us to consider you or your school. And at the same time, um, we're filming instruction. We're also capturing short takes on tough questions, like one I'd like to show you from Antonio Fierro, an ESL specialist and distinguished reading teacher. Let's watch about a minute of um, Antonio's Q&A. Hi, I'm Antonio Fierro. Let's listen to this next question. When students mispronounce a word, when and how should I address that? Address that mispronunciation, right? Well, that's a tricky question, and you have to think about it from a different standpoint. Let's think about where your English learner might be as far as language acquisition. I've spoken about the fact that many of our newcomers who have never heard English before or have pronounce any English words, are going to be in that silent period or that pre-production stage of language acquisition. Now, if they're slowly... I hope that gave you a, um, a glimpse of the quality and the type of content um, in our videos and, um, and that you will... Um, visit our explore section and browse by videos to um to seek out more questions and answers and um <clears throat> practical application of skills in the classroom kelly i'll hand it back over to you okay well we'll wrap this up with our 10 maxims um we hope you that you're going to find reading universe to be a one-stop shop for your reading and writing instruction needs and challenges and be patient with us as we continue to load content all the way up to sixth grade all of our content is based on more than 50 years of research making it a reliable source of information backed by the science to that end you will find this body of research codified into 10 maxims by the distinguished read lion we worked with read to to codify all of the existing, uh, that 50 years of research, um, boil it down to 10 basic maxims. And then we have published also the citations. There are 35 pages of citations of this research that supports all of the content that's in Reading Universe. So um, for those of you who are interested in learning more about that, we turn, turn to you, um, uh, recommend that you take a look at that document uh, because there's lots of rich reading in there about the science of reading and the history. Um, it's fascinating to see how far back it goes. So let's close out and um, take a last poll. We want to hear some feedback from you based on what you've seen. Uh, and then uh, we'll take your Q&A and we'll turn it back to Donna. So Shiana, can you post our poll? Let us know what the three most important features of Reading Universe are that you saw tonight. It's hard to pick. <laughs> You can select three. <laughs> We're closing in on the half hour, and we promise to try to keep this short and succinct so that you could ask some questions if you like or let you go to do what you need to do to get ready for tomorrow. Okay. Very interesting. Pretty good spread. All right. Well, Donna, we'll share those results with you uh, as Great. we will with this recording. And back to you. Thanks again. Thank you so much, Tammy and Kelly. That you know, I was sitting here. I'm like blown away with how much information is on the site that is free and could actually help teachers develop lessons, understand the background. I mean, there's resources. It's phenomenal. It's really phenomenal. And you were supposed to retire. <laughs>
Well, there's only about 15% of the content up right now. So I have a few more months to go before oh I my. follow today. Well, this, this is an important project. So we're excited to be partnering and thanks for letting us share it. You are absolutely welcome. We will continue to keep this up and going. Um, for those of you who don't know this, um, Reading Rockets is also partnering with us on Thursdays and they have their um, Reading Rocket Thursday and they uh, share out questions and information. And I and this is a, a partnership with um, WIDA, correct? Um, so, um, you know, this is all, it's all good. We're all on the same trajectory and this is all a mission that we're all on. So um, I'm honored to be able to pre provide this service for you all and um, excited that this is happening. Um, I heard about this several years ago, but now I see it's really happened, <laughs> which is all good. All right. For those, of you, for those of you who joined us tonight, thank you. Uh, we will be putting this on our site uh, periodically, just to remind you of this, of the resource that is available. And if you have any questions, um, should they reach out to um, to you folks? And there's so a readinguniverse.org comes straight to my mailbox. Okay, very good. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your time tonight. Thank you, Donna. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, team. Mm -hmm.